we are entering important milestones in, in transplantation in this country, not necessarily in our program. We have a special interest in liver transplantation for children. And I think we are now the largest liver transplant program in the country for children. Reduced to smaller graphs. But this particular case is an important one, at least for the public to understand. This girl is now two years old and had a sudden onset of illness, which is called acute liver failure. The child is from Oman. The child doesn't belong here. The child is from Oman, and the child was admitted there with liver failure. What happens in acute liver failure, patients develop an illness in the liver. This is not like cirrhosis. Cirrhosis is the most common reason we do liver transplants both for adults and children. But acute liver failure, the condition comes suddenly and the children usually will die in two weeks, three weeks. Some of them will die within a week and some of them will die within a month. So when the child was admitted with acute liver failure, we had some relationship with the doctors there and worked very closely with the Omani doctors. So that is an important aspect of the success story. They called us and said, we have a child with acute liver failure from a country, another country to here. I'm pretty sure we can do this within this country, however far a child may be, whether it is in Assam or Delhi or in Kashmir, we can transport that child, such children who are sick. So the child was transported here, and we did an evaluation, and we knew that the child required a liver transplant. And the donor was the mother, uncle, sorry, I'm getting confused here. The donor was the uncle, and we worked up the child very rapidly, and did the transplant for the child and the child was brought back. So that is one unique aspect of the story that you can transport a child who is on a life support machine on a special air ambulance and bring the child over and do a transplant successfully and the child is here for you to see. Because the outcome for such sick children is not very good generally and if the centers are very experienced then we can bring the outcome. And then this they need to look after, stabilize the patient before the operation and also look after the child after the operation. And you'll be surprised to know that this child was after operation on a ventilator for one month. On a life support machine for one month and now she is completely recovered and being a normal child. So, that's a Come on, you take that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sweet.